Guys, they said Igbi's blood pressure increased. <laughs> According to what we are hearing now, they said Igbi's BP have increased as slightly bad mood storms the palace of Oni of Ife with her suitcases. They say Igbi is running from pillar to pole, from pillar to pole. You know, in this life, what goes around comes around. And the funny part of it is that they say Igbi went and confronted uh, uh, Nadia Badmus, telling her that she's not allowed into this palace. That who gave her the audacity, even to the point of bringing in her suitcases. And from the information we are gathering, they said Nadia have her own quarters in that palace. Yes, that even Lola, all of them, they have their own quarters in that palace where they used to stay anytime they visit. And we do know that Lede had been in that palace. She had been staying in the palace even before uh, Igbi came into the picture. As a matter of fact, Lede has been Kavyesi's old friend, a big concubine, a big business partner, or join, you know? And it was Lede who introduced Igbi to uh, to uh, Kabiesi as her friend, not knowing that she's a friend enemy. <laughs> now we have uh, we have heard that uh, Lade is one of those people that Kabiesi will marry. Mm -hmm. Although Igbi does not like it, but I don't think there is anything she can do about it. We have heard how she have told Kabiesi that Luko, you can go ahead and marry as many people as who, as you want, but not Lade. Imagine Igbi, Igbi wants Kabiesi to marry as many people as he wants, but not Lide. The same Lide that introduced you to Igbi, to Kabiesi. The thing is that her conscience is beating her. Her conscience is disturbing her because she knows what she has done to Lide, and that is why she doesn't want Lide to come around. But we information have it that Lide have told her that, look, I, ha I don't want to marry Kabiesi before, but right now, I will marry Kabiesi for your sake. I will marry Kabiesi because of you. And I am coming in to let you know that <laughs> whatever you saw in this life, that is what you are going to reap. Because after Igbi married, uh, after Kabiesi married Igbi, Igbi used to kind of boast, telling like, yes, you are a concubine, I am a wife. Uh, you, you should excuse us. They said there was a day that she came. And Lide was with Kabiesi. And the next thing she told Lide is, excuse us, I want to talk with my husband. Hey! <laughs> they said that thing, the thing entered Lide well, well. And at the end of the day, they said Lide excuse them. Because when Kabiesi find out that uh, they are trying to turn it to something else, they said Kabiesi told Lide to please excuse them. And Lide excuse them. You know that that thing will be burning her. It will be, it will be burning as in like hot water in her mind. Look at, look at this lady. Look at this ungrateful fool that I introduced to you. Oh my gosh. Now we are hearing that Capi, uh, Lide Badmus have carried her suitcases, enters the palace, and when Igbi asks her, where are you going to? Why are you with this? Why are you with all these bags here? Uh, they say Lide asks her, is this palace your palace? She said, yes. I am the wife, the first wife of Kabiesi. The said Lide laughed and called her first wife indeed. Who is first wife? Oh, you think Queen Nami will leave? Queen Nami will not leave. Queen Nami will not leave this marriage. That is what they said Lide told Igbi. That Queen Nami is going nowhere. Queen Nami remains the first wife of Kabiesi. You are just a betrayer who find your way inside the palace. <laughs> and when Igbi wanted to make drama out of it, they said Lide told Igbi to call uh, only of Ife and confirm that you know that she's not as stupid as some people who, who enters where they are not wanted. That she came here by Kabiesi's permission. You know that she cannot come without Kabiesi's permission. And as long as Kabiesi have given her the go-ahead order, that no doubt, no betrayer will stop her from entering her husband's house. <laughs> At this point, they say he was boiling. He be called Kabiesi. They said he called, uh, he called Kabiesi over and over again. She called Kabiesi over and over again, and Kabiesi did not pick. Some people were saying that maybe Kabiesi knew that uh, she would put up a drama. That is why he doesn't want to pick her call. Or maybe Kabiesi was busy and doesn't know that the phone is ringing or anything. But they said the kind of laugh, the way that Lide laughed at her while moving into her quarters. Hmm? 
Ibi was so frustrated. So, so frustrated. <laughs> and the, the, the other news we had, the other day we heard that Kabiyasi sisters went to, is it a, a legba in Ibadan? They said they went there to see the family of the, uh, the surrogate mom. I don't know if you remember the surrogate mom. The one that uh, Ashley brought to the palace to come and have a surrogate baby for her and uh, Kabiyasi. But unfortunately, it did not work. Yes, and the surrogate mom, the, the surrogate lady was able to uh, 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 kind of build a relationship with Kabiyesi, you know. And it is obvious that ever since she left the palace, she has been communicating with Kabiyesi. Some people said that whenever Kabiyesi goes to UK, that he used to call the lady to come and meet him. And maybe they they have been doing crewa all this while. <laughs> okay, well, some people say I talk about crewa too much. That is what is uh, 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 expected of a man and a woman, you know. So then, uh, the sisters to Kabiyesi went to see their family to collect the marriage list. And when Ashley heard about it, they say Ashley was so devastated. And the information have it that why they were coming back. I mean, Kabiyesi's sisters. They branched at Lide's house. I don't know how the information also got to Igbi. And they say Igbi has been boiling. Igbi was so as in disappointed. No, let me tell you. One thing about Igbi is that her level of jealousy is too much. And because she knows that she has offended this Lide bad most, she doesn't want her to come closer. You know? Because we all know that Lide is coming to prepare her. Lide is coming to give it to, 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 to her. And KBS himself doesn't care about them because if KBS really cares about them, he will know that it is not healthy to bring in two friends who have issues like this as, as wives. You know, the water water that we are about to hear in this palace, if KBS end up marrying Lide and the dad sort of get mom, huh, what we are hearing now will be small to compare with what we we'll hear after this one. Because you know it's going to be a battlefield for them. I'm telling you. Although they might not use, want to do it physical distance, but you will just hear the scores. It is time with them. <laughs> they say we tried and tried, but he, she, she couldn't stop Lide. And they say Lide move in. And a lot of people are asking, why would Lide move in? Why can't why can't she wait until at least uh, KBC pays her bride price? Or could it be that her bride price have paid, have been paid? I don't know. I don't know. That is what we are hearing that she have carried her suitcases, that she is right now in the palace. Maybe she came to drop it so that she will occupy her space while she waits for the main day for the marriage. And Igbi is crying. Igbi, you never see anything. You never see anything. And let me tell you, if Kabiyasi finally marries Lide, you see this way that, Kab uh, that Igbi is always showing herself outside. It is going to stop or maybe be limited because Lide will not give her that chance. Let's just watch and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. As I hear them, that's why I share them. Always remember. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you.